You're looking for a good office laptop or a good sub notebook, this business focus T470S is definitely one you should take a look at now. We've got our full review complete and I'm gonna take you around the device and give you some of the test results, talk about some of the specifications and uh, battery life of course. Stay tuned, this is the Lenovo T470S. in our full review. It is classic Lenovo ThinkPad, really high quality all round. We've got a magnesium alloy chassis. We've got a carbon fiber plastic mix on the screen. Everything is stable, everything is good. Let's take a look at some of the ports though, and I'll talk about some of the internals. As I go through those, I'll give you some ideas about specifications, performance of each of those components. We'll take a look at the keyboard and screen in a minute, but let's just look at the, uh, the ports here. We've got a great selection. We've got a classic Lenovo power port here, although it's actually chargeable via USB-C. It is power delivery capable, and I think it's a 54 watt out, uh, 54 watt output on that uh, power supply. So three to four hours charging time, but you can also use the standard Lenovo um, connector there. We've got USB port here, fan output, headset, and an SD card reader. SD card reader up between 70 and 80 megabytes per second read speed. That's good. It's not the best, which is usually over 100 megabytes per second in 2017, but it's certainly not one of those poor ones that's running down at the 20 to 30 megabytes per second mark. On the bottom, we've got a classic uh, Lenovo docking port, which is nice. And then on the right hand side here, we've got the uh, card reader, the security card reader. There's the USB-C port that is 3.1 Gen 2 with Thunderbolt 3 capability and power delivery. So a full USB-C port there, USB 3 full HDMI, another USB port, full gigabit ethernet port here and LTE as well. This version has LTE inside. Also has the Wi-Fi AC module inside, but you can also get it with um, a gig E, sorry, a Y gig module as well. So you can use the um, cable or the wireless uh, external uh, docking station. We've got a fairly high end model here, one terabyte of NVMe SSD. Kind of tells you that the price is gonna be high. Yes, as configured here is the educational version from Campus Point, 2,200 euros. You can specify this on the Lenovo store at around 2,800 euros but we reckon you'll be able to find this for around 2,500 euros with these specifications. That's the one terabyte hard drive inside the SSD. 16 gigs of RAM, we've got a 52 watt hour battery inside. We've got the fingerprint reader, we've got the card reader, we've got TPM inside, we've got Windows 10 Pro as well. Weighs 1.36 kilograms and has the 2K screen option, the Quad HD Plus screen option. I'll talk about that in a minute, but first I want to concentrate on the keyboard. That classic Lenovo keyboard is just as good as it always was. It's backlit, it's got a great input characteristic on the touchpad, and those wonderful keys, which are just the same as the last year's model, the T460S, and also matching the T470 as well. So really, really nice input characteristics on the keyboard. And then we get to the screen, that's a 2K screen with a really nice contrast of around 1,300 to one. So it's a nice dark black level here. It's a matte screen. Uh, there's about 85% of sRGB coverage. It's not a wide gamut uh, color um, screen here, but reasonable for those uh, creating uh, videos and editing uh, photos as well. Just not professional grade in terms of color coverage. The accuracy of the colors out the box wasn't that brilliant. Six to eight are the deltas on the color and the grayscales, but we configured it down way down to near one, which is almost perfect uh, for the colors that are there. We've got the ICC file in the full review, so you can download the ICC file and put it into your Windows 10 build to calibrate, or at least to start the calibration process for that screen. So it's an IPS panel, as you can see, and it's a matte finish, so it's not too glossy there. I'm just trying to get the reflection for you. 
and we've got a reasonable brightness here of over 300, 310 to 320 makes it really nice. Combined with that nice contrast, it's something you'll be able to sit in a bright room with and something you'll even be able to work with outdoors. A quick note about the security features. Of course, Windows 10 Pro brings you some security features. We've got a fingerprint reader. We've got the uh, card reader on there, the security card reader on the side, and there's a TPM inside. One of the things I really like about the 470S is this removable back plate. It's five screws, captive screws. You won't worry about losing them. And then you can just take that panel off very quickly. You'll see that in the video there. And you can access this quite strange dual battery configuration. You can get that top battery out fairly quickly. There's certainly not a battery you're going to be changing on the road. It's uh, questionable as to why that battery is in there. I wonder if Lenovo are thinking of having different backs that support different capacity batteries that sit up the top there uh, but as you buy it it's only got the 52 watt hour total battery capacity we'll talk about some of the battery life figures in a minute now we've got the version with the Core i7 7600U here, which is a slightly higher clocked version of that dual core CPU, it goes up to 3.9 gigahertz on a single core operation. On a dual core operation, you'll get there as well, but only for a short amount of time. In our Cinebench multi-test, we ran it, I think, 50 times. You'll have a look at our review. You'll see the graph that shows that falling away after the first run. And that's because this thing is heating up and then throttling back. Having said that, the PC Mark 8 scores are excellent. And that's basically due to the fantastic all-round configuration here with that NVMe that's super fast. The only thing that's beating this on the PC Mark 8 score in this category is the ThinkPad, ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which got I think two or three percent more. The review came after this review. So if you go onto Notebook Check, you'll find that X1 Carbon, you'll see it scoring just slightly more on the PC Mark 8. Dual core Ultrabook style means you're not going to get a discrete graphics card inside and you won't be able to play mini games. Certainly not new games. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider that comes in at the usual 11 to 15 frames per second on low settings. You might be able to play some old stuff, but the integrated graphics HD 620 really isn't up for gaming. In terms of heat and noise, uh, there's a couple of things to be said. There's a little bit of heat build up, certainly, on this side of the keyboard. And under load, you might find this getting a little bit uh, uncomfortable in terms of heat. The heat maps are on the full review. Um, and in terms of noise, there's a little bit of noise from the fans under load, but it's a nice noise. It's not one of those really annoying fan whiny noises. And certainly under quiescent state, things are absolutely silent. Right, battery life, 1.35 kilos and a 51 more hour battery. That's not a huge amount of battery here, but we're getting a reasonable seven hours Wi-Fi out of this. And um, seven hours, 34 minutes was the Big Butt Bunny video test. So on a 2K screen at 100 nits, of course, with that nice color and that nice contrast, that's a reasonable video playback experience. It tells us that this is a fairly efficient laptop. Case, keyboard, uh, touchpad, Screen, all excellent here. Connectivity good, Wi-Fi good, uh, security good. It's a great device for uh, maintenance as well. You can get the back off that. I will mention uh, that there is uh, one slot of RAM you can remove on this and replace. But on the cons, we've got that high temperature we talked about. That CPU can down throttle, so that uh, headline 3.9 gigahertz figure is not really true. You're going to get slightly less than that if you're using this uh, under any sort of load. The other thing to mention is the USB port here, the USB-C port, and the fact that it charges through that. Now that is right where your mouse is, and that can be pretty annoying. So you'll want to, if you're really going to use this on the go with a mouse, think about getting a charging adapter for the left-hand side. And the price, high quality ThinkPad. The price is up to you, but it is a reasonably expensive device. In this version, 2,099 euros in the kind of educational pack and educational discount that we, that we see with Campus Point. Expect around 2,400, 2,500 for a consumer version. And in fact, if you wanna get this one straight off the Lenovo website, you're gonna be paying up to 2,000. 800 euros so that's a very expensive option but it is a high quality option 87 percent is what it scored and you'll probably want to think about this against the other one the t470 against the x1 carbon as well all great laptops this one sits in the middle with a nice trade-off between size and weight and performance the x1 carbon of course a few 
less options for upgrade and maintenance. For example, for example, soldered RAM, you've got two USB-C ports on there, so you're gonna need to carry adapters as well. And then the T470, which is another two or 300 grams, and also has a similar sort of performance. So there's your trade-off there. Have a look at the full review. We've also just reviewed T470. We've also just reviewed the Carbon X1. So go and check out those reviews. I've done comparisons with some other devices from Dell and HP in there as well. So you'll get a good idea of which one you should be choosing for your 14 inch ultra mobile office laptop experience. So that was the T470S. Thanks for watching. If you got anything out of the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna get notified of new videos going up in the channel. We really need your help to keep this channel going. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.